Now when seasons occur in our life, they occur at the proper time. And sometimes we say, why is this happening to me now? Now I'm trying to live my life just right, and now all of a sudden this sickness has come on me, or this financial lack has come on me. I, I'm, I'm doing better, but why is this coming on me now? Because God is in control of your season. Glory to God. God said, I commanded you to love one another as I have loved you. Your love walk is not the way it needs to be. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. And then you find yourself in a season and you don't know what's going on. And God said, I'm trying to grow you up spiritually. That's why from time to time we need to examine ourselves. To see whether we be in the faith. That's right. To see if our faith is genuine. That's right. Lord, what are you trying to tell me? Lord, you're trying to show me something. What are you trying to show me? And then when the wrong situation comes up in the season that God ordained, instead of us pressing our way through, we stop going to church. Uh -huh. I don't want to go to church anymore. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. We stop serving. We start offering up excuses why I can't do this. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. God said, I put you in this season, but it's for you to examine where you are in your relationship with me. Yeah. Instead of murmuring and complaining in this season, all we're going to do is prolong the season. Yeah. We're just prolonging the season. God said, I want you to embrace where you are. Yes. I want you to remember all of the things that I've done for you. Right. How I delivered you from this and delivered you from that. Because you trusted me. Hallelujah. Embrace the season. Give God praise. Give Him thanks. Don't murmur. You just going to make the season even longer. You're going to make yourself feel even worse. If you complain about it, amen. Yes. Hallelujah. You can't skip a season either. <laughs> Hallelujah. The seasons are in a cycle. You may be in a good one right now, but a bad one might be right down the road. And there's no way you can skip that season and jump to the next one. Remember, sowing and reaping is still in effect. Sometimes you sow some bad seeds in this season, and next season you will reap those bad seeds. Hallelujah. So the Word of God says we have to walk circumspectly. Spiritual Harvest Ministries. Already somebody. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord God, doesn't that make you feel good that we're already somebody to God? We don't have to try to prove anything to anybody at no time, nowhere, amen, because we're already somebody to God. Hallelujah. If you would stand to your feet, let's get ready for the word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we give you praise and we give you glory, Lord God. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your precious Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord God, that we come with appreciation in our heart today for all that you've done in our lives. And Father, we come with an expectation to hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say. We thank you, Lord, that the word will fall on the good soil of our heart. And Father, we'll be careful to give you all of the praise and all of the glory, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm going to start right off and give the name of the message. We usually wait a little bit before we say it. But the name of our message today is Seasons of Life. Seasons of Life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And all of us are in a season of life. And as long as we live on this earth, we're going to be in a season of life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, we all grew up knowing, knowing about the seasons, the summer, the spring, the fall, the winter. Amen. But we're going to look at that word season in a broader definition, amen, as it relates to our topic today. 
The season that we're talking about today refers to a particular period in our life or history that's often characterized by certain events, changes, or experiences. Uh -huh. Every one of us are going to go through this life and we're going to have certain events to happen, yes. changes to occur in our life, yes. and we're going to have some experiences. Yes. Now I want to begin with Ecclesiastes 3 and uh -huh. verse 1 oh, yeah. in the Berean Standard Bible. Amen? Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. Amen. Anytime something happens in our life, that's the season it was supposed to happen. Amen. Glory to God. How many of you know that seasons are created and directed by God? God is the one who creates the seasons that we go through. Amen. Hallelujah. God is the one who ordains the seasons that we go through. Yeah. God is the one who places us in those seasons. There's nothing that we can do to get out of the season. Even if it's inconvenient for us, even if it's something that we don't like, we have no control over it. Hallelujah. God ordains the seasons. Now whatever season we're in, it's not by mistake, and it's not by chance that we got in that season. God did that. Hallelujah. I think we said it back in Harvest Community, or I missed part of it, but everybody is going through something right now. All of us are going through something right now. And if you're not going through something, you just came out of something, or you're getting ready to go through something. It's called seasons of life. Amen. Hallelujah. And God is in control. And everything that we go through is part of a bigger plan for our life. And that's how God wants us to look at it. It's part of a bigger plan. Amen. Now when seasons occur in our life, they occur at the proper time. And sometimes we say, why is this happening to me now? Now I'm trying to live my life just right, and now all of a sudden this sickness has come on me, or this financial lack has come on me. I, I'm, I'm doing better, but why is this coming on me now? Because God is in control of your season. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, for us it might not be the ideal timing. I used to do some crazy things out there in the world, but God, I've got my life all together, and I'm not doing those crazy things now. Why in the world would this come on me now? Amen. Hallelujah. We have to trust God. Yes. Yes. Amen. God wants us to trust Him, and He wants us to know that even during the painful seasons, there's a work for us to do. Yeah, you might have gotten your life straightened up. You might have come out of the nightclub, but you're not praying the way you ought to pray. Right, amen. The Word of God says that we're to pray without ceasing. Yes. Sometimes some of us go for days and weeks without uttering a prayer to the Lord. Amen. God says everything I allow in your life, I'm doing it so that you can grow up yes. spiritually. Amen. Amen. No accident that God gave us building the spirit man for Christ. God wants us to build our spirit man for Christ. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. And yes, it may not be the right timing for the season that we're in, but guess what? God says it's done at the proper time. Mm -hmm. Go with me to the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter 2 and verse 19. Daniel chapter 2 and verse 19. It says, during the night, the mystery was revealed to Daniel in a vision. Then Daniel praised the God of heaven, verse 20, and said, Praise be to the name of God forever and ever. Wisdom and power are his. And look at verse 21. He changes times and seasons. He deposes, which means removes, kings 
and raises up others. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. Hallelujah. God is the one who changes the seasons. Right now, we're in a political season right now, and everybody's talking about the election that's going to come up. But do you see it says, he deposes kings and he raises up others. Yes, we need to do our civic duty as a Christian, and we need to vote. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And sometimes we, 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 we really need to be careful that we're voting for the person with Christian principles. Yes. Yes. But we've got so many godless leaders, yes. we can't even find Christian yes. principles anymore. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Now, does that mean we're not supposed to vote? No, that's not what that means. Yes. Right. We still need to vote. We still need to pray, and we need to vote for the one who's going to be uh, better for the majority as a whole. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We're going to have a hard time. But we live in a fallen world, and it's going to be hard trying to find a leader who embraces Christian principles across the place. It's not going to happen. Yes, there will be some sacrifices made, but you've got to find the one who's going to be good for the majority, for the whole. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is the one who, and then don't let it worry you. Once you cross your mouth, you've done your civic duty. God is in charge. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, every season that comes in our life, it's a unique season. Because God is trying to do something in our life. Amen? Amen? We can't say that enough here at Spiritual Harvest. God wants us to grow spiritually. Amen. God wants us to grow spiritually. Amen. It's not going to just happen because we come to church on Sunday or because we come to church on Tuesday. We've got to open up our word ourselves at home. Amen. The Word of God says that we need to meditate on it day and night. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Life is full of seasons. Sometimes we have joy in our life. Sometimes we have sorrow in our life. Sometimes we're in a waiting process in our life. We're waiting on something to happen, and it still hasn't happened. And I believe all of us have been in a period of our life where there was financial lack, we didn't have enough money to pay our bills. We were a little concerned, hallelujah. But at the proper time, God delivered us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We came out of one season, and in the next season, he delivered us. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I said it a few minutes ago, sometimes God just wants us to pray more. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. It wasn't like he didn't have anything to do when he said pray without ceasing. Don't stop praying. Amen? Amen. He said, I want you to stop murmuring and complaining. Amen. We may find ourselves in a hard place, and God said, I'm trying to grow you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God said, I commanded you to love one another as I have loved you. Your love walk is not the way it needs to be. Hallelujah. And then you find yourself in a season and you don't know what's going on and God said, I'm trying to grow you up spiritually. That's why from time to time we need to examine ourselves to see whether we be in the faith. That's right. To see if our faith is genuine. That's right. Lord, what are you trying to tell me? Lord, you're trying to show me something. What are you trying to show me? We won't ask God anything like that. I believe sometimes we're scared to ask it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Seasons are created by God, and God may be trying to tell us something. Yes. Go with me to Isaiah 40 and verse 31. Isaiah 40 and verse 31. It says, but those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. When we're waiting on the Lord, we're trusting the Lord. We're hoping that it's all going to work out. We're relying on the Lord. Amen? Hallelujah. 
And it's about having faith that at the proper time, God is going to deliver us. Hallelujah. I bet all of us have been in that place where we murmured and complained and cried and ah, ah. God said, I don't want you to do that. When you've gotten spiritually mature, you trust me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then when the wrong situation comes up in the season that God ordained, instead of us pressing our way through, we stop going to church. Don't want to go to church anymore. Hallelujah. We stop serving. We start offering up excuses why I can't do this. Hallelujah. God said, I put you in this season but it's for you to examine where you are in your relationship with me. Yeah. How much do you trust me? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that God will not withhold any good thing from those who walk up right before him. Yeah. And blameless before him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If he said he's not going to withhold anything, it doesn't matter what season we're in. That's the most important thing that I want you to get today. When we go through hard times, God is in charge. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. He's trying to do a work in our life in that season. Yes. Glory to God. And when we get into that season, and seasons come and seasons go, we need to thank him for every day that he blesses us with. Yes. Yes. Amen. Every day that God gives us is precious. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. He didn't have to give us that day. People are dying every day. But God said, I'm trying to do a work in your life in this season. And I want you to be thankful for it and serve me while you're in the season. That's right. We get to the place I can't serve him now. I'm going through something. <laughs> <laughs> we get on the phone, we call, we, we haven't seen you at church. I'm going through something. We're all going through something. We're going to go through something until we leave this earth. Hallelujah. He said every day I give you is a blessing. You need to be thankful for the blessing that you got. Glory to God. We need to see our life as being fragile because it is fragile. The word of God says it's like a vapor. Hallelujah. We can see the vapor and then it's gone. That's the way our life is. We're not going to be here all that time. Amen. Hallelujah. Complications come. I'm going through something right now in my own life. And as I was preparing this message, Pastor Peggy, I had to just cry and say, Lord, you're in control of this season. Instead of me murmuring and complaining, you want me to pray and trust you. Sister, you know who I'm talking to. He wants us to rely on him, to trust him. He's doing a work in our life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. We reap what we sow. Woo. Amen. Instead of murmuring and complaining in this season, all we're going to do is prolong the season. Woo. Yes, we're just prolonging the season. God said, I want you to embrace where you are. Yes. I want you to remember all of the things that I've done for you. Yes. How I delivered you from this and delivered yes. you from that. Yes. Because you trusted me. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Because the seasons work in a cycle. Yes. They go around and around and around and again and again and again. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This season it may not be good. But next season it might be better. Lord, he'll do it again. Hallelujah. And the next season might not be real good. 
but the next season will be better. Hallelujah. He said, I want you to trust me. Amen. And while you're trusting me, I want you to be appreciative. I want you to thank me. I want you to serve me. I don't want you to sit on the sidelines and not do anything. I want you to be involved in what I'm involved in. The work of saving souls. Glory to God. God's timing is always perfect. Go with me to the book of Acts. Acts 17 and verse 28. For in him we live and move and exist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As some of your own poets have said, we are his offspring. Okay. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Every breath that's in our lungs, God gave that to us. Mm -hmm. Every heartbeat that we have, mm -hmm. God gave that to us. Yeah. So we ought to be thankful for what he's doing in our life. Amen. Everything that we can see and hear and smell and touch those are things that God gave us to enjoy life with. Yes. And he said in his word, I'm not going to withhold nothing good from those who walk upright. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. That's why we should have a mindset of appreciation yes. when we come to worship God. Amen. That's why we should have a mindset of appreciation as we're going through the seasons in our life. We don't need to have that mindset that I'm entitled to something. That's right, young man. We're not entitled to anything. Amen. If it were not for God's Come grace on, and mercy, yes, where would we be? Hallelujah. 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 And some of us walk around as if we're entitled that God ought to bless us. Oh, no. Hallelujah. Yeah. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to serve. I don't have to pray. I don't have to love anybody. I don't have to be a part of community. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. We just don't understand that another season is going to come up in our life. The word of God says he chastens those that he loves. Hallelujah. He does not expect us to stay the same way that we are. He expects us to be transformed. He expects us to look more like Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Anything we're going through right now, it didn't happen by chance or error. And it's not a mistake on God's part. Our children acting all crazy. That's not a mistake on God's part. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> God allowed us to go through this season because he ordained it. Yes. Hallelujah. Go with me to the book of Jeremiah. Every season is part of a larger purpose for our life. And we just have to know that. We have to know that we know that we know. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5. It says, I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations. Brother D, what's your birthday? When were you born? What year? Uh, 1996. 1996, okay. He's one of our babies in the church, amen. God said he had a purpose for our lives even before we were formed in our mother's womb. It's a divine purpose. Before we were formed, up until the time we die, he said, I've got a purpose for your life. And then some of us walk around and we do nothing because we don't realize God has a purpose for our lives. Glory to God. Let me read that again. I knew you, Jeremiah 1 and 5, before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations. Amen. Hallelujah. We may not understand why we're going through certain things. Amen. 
but it was done at the proper time by the Father. Hallelujah. See, a lot of times when we go through things, we say it's a distraction from the enemy. A lot of times it's not a distraction from Satan. God is trying to discipline us and chasten us. See, we put a lot of stuff on Satan that Satan ain't got nothing to do with. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, we find ourselves in that season and we say, oh, that's the devil. <laughs> and then we say, the devil is alive. <laughs> and the devil is saying, that's not even me out there doing that. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Sometimes we find ourselves Ooh. in a bad place. Because of poor choices that we've made. Amen. 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 Decisions have consequences. Right. Hallelujah. That's right. Glory to God. That's, not, that's why we need to acknowledge God in all of our ways. Because if we make the wrong choice and then something bad happens, the first thing we want to do is say, Satan did it. Right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sometimes God is disciplining us. He chastens those that he loves. Amen. Hallelujah. And of course, we live in a fallen world. There's sin and there's disease in this world. Amen. We live in a fallen world. Amen. Hallelujah. We're talking about seasons of life right now. Glory to God. God didn't choose Jeremiah after he demonstrated his worthiness. Come on now. He said, I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. God didn't choose you when you joined the church. He said, I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. God didn't choose you just because you finished no member's class and now you're serving in ministry. He said, I knew you way back then. And I chose you to do a work. We're the ones who miss it. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. God didn't wait until Jeremiah, all his problems were gone. How many of you heard saints in the church? I'll do better when this isn't going on in my life. Right now, I'm just going through something right now. God said, you're in that season where you're supposed to be going through something right now. But are you trusting me right now? Are you calling out to me right now? Are you being faithful every day that I bless you with right now? Hallelujah. Or are you just giving up? Glory to God. That's why community is so important. Because we hold one another accountable. Yes. When we don't see someone, don't you get a text yes. from somebody? Yes. Don't you get a text yes. from somebody yes. sister, to say, well, yes. I missed you, you okay? Yes. Uh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. But when it's a pattern that you just don't come, uh -huh. hallelujah, we also have a little wisdom. You're not interested in coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Right We're talking about seasons of life. God is going to have to deal with you himself. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God sees the big picture, and we don't see the big picture. We're all just a part of the puzzle. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. When Solomon became king, Solomon asked God for wisdom. Did. Glory to God. And God made Solomon the wisest man that ever lived. Before him there was no man wiser. And even after him there was no man wiser. Solomon had all kinds of practical insight. But he didn't heed his own advice. That's right. Amen. He did not heed his own advice. And at some point near the end of his life, Solomon looked back with humility and repentance. And he wrote a whole passage trying to help everyone else live their life right. Glory to God. See, Solomon evaluated his choices and his habits and his relationships and his goal, which is what God wants us to do. God said, I want you to evaluate your choices. Evaluate your habits. 
the relationships that you're in, I want you to examine yourself and see whether you are in the faith. Because if we don't have a relationship with the Lord, our name is not written in the Lamb's oh, Book of Life. Right. I say it all the time, being a church door is not going to get us in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Look at Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 11 in the NIV version. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. All of this stuff that's going on in our life, all of this confusion, all of this bad relationships, he said, in its time, it's going to be made beautiful. See, he promised that. But we've got a part to play, too. All this stuff is going to be made beautiful in our lives. And we'll see why things had to go the way it had to go. But in the meantime, say in the meantime. In the meantime. God wants us to trust him. Yes. To rely on him. Yes. To be faithful every day. And to not stop serving him. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't know why things happen the way they do. That's right. But I do know he said everything's going to be beautiful in its own time. Yes. And I have to believe that. Yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's a divine purpose behind every moment. Even the painful moments in our life. Even the times when we have to go to the hospital and seek treatment and marriages end and children are disrespectful yeah. hallelujah even in the bad times he said everything is going to be made beautiful yeah, thank you, Lord. in its own time hallelujah. glory to god hallelujah thank you. god works in mysterious ways go into the book of philippians 4 and chapter chapter 4 verse 4 it says rejoice in the lord always and i will say it again rejoice Brothers and sisters, this is not a suggestion. This is a man. Whatever is going on, rejoice. Muster up some strength and rejoice. Amen. Circumstances don't matter. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Emotions don't matter. Rejoice. What they did to us doesn't matter. Rejoice. Hallelujah. He said, I'm going to make everything beautiful in its own time. Don't lose heart. Glory to God. Rejoicing is an act of faith. Glory to God. And when we exercise our faith, we're trusting him. And we're showing our gratitude. Hallelujah. And I'm preaching to myself today. I'm just not talking to you. I'm talking to myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans 8 and verse 28. And I'm almost done. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. No matter what season we're in, God is working it out for our good. We don't have to cry. We don't have to break down. We don't have to be depressed. Yes, yes. He said it right there. And we know, we got to know, yes. that God causes everything to work together yes. for the good of those who love God. If you love God, he's working it out for your good. Yes. And are called according to his purpose for them. Yes. If he's called you according to his purpose, He's working that stuff out. Yes. Glory to God. Lord. Pick yourself up yes. and give God some praise. Because yes. he's working it out. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Give him some praise. Yes. Now, I didn't say I was done. Yes. I got a couple more thoughts. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you.
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Pastor Janice, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor Leslie. Hallelujah. Pastor LaShiva. Hallelujah. Don't miss out on getting your prayers answered. You may find yourself in a season and it's very uncomfortable. And you just need strength to get through the season. God understands our weaknesses. He understands that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Pastor. Hallelujah. He understands that we're not as strong as we should be. This is not our home. We're just passing through. Hallelujah. Oh, either one, either one. Hallelujah. Pastor Buckley. Pastor Buckley. She's back there. She's back there. Minister Clarence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. God said, I want you to cast your cares on me because I care for you. He knows what we're going through down here. God knows exactly what we're going through down here. He knows what brings tears to our eyes. He knows what makes our hearts heavy. He knows what makes us want to throw our hands up and give up. But he said, I'm still with you. Hallelujah. He said, I'm growing you up in the spirit. Hallelujah. I'm growing you up so that your spirit man will be big and strong. And when the enemy comes against you, hallelujah, you will know exactly what to do. Hallelujah. That's why it's so important that we encourage one another. It might be me today needing encouragement. But it may be you tomorrow needing encouragement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Pastor Butler, would you come up, please? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to his wonderful name. His name is precious. His name is majestic. He said the purpose that I have for your life, that greater purpose is for you to be transformed into Christ's likeness. We've been talking about purpose all morning. That's the greater purpose, to be transformed into Christ's likeness. And he's not content for us to be any other way. Hallelujah. He wants us to be just like Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He wants us to witness to other people. Some of us don't have the boldness yet to be a witness. But he said, I'll give you the boldness if you hasten to do my word. Glory to God. That's what he does. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, I hasten my word to perform it. But then we're slow about doing what he says. He says, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. I want for you to hear it. I want you to obey it. Hallelujah. Obedience is better than any sacrifice. Hallelujah. You got to have.
have a reason for why you trust him. I know why I trust him. I've seen him deliver me so many times. Out of so many things. When my head was hung down and I didn't know which way to go. Didn't want anybody else to know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God loves us so much. Well now, praise the Lord, everybody. Yeah. Give him another praise. Hallelujah. I, hope, I hope that everybody enjoys as much as I did. Yeah. Because we are truly in a season. Amen. But it's like everything is happening. That's right. Every day someone has gone on to be with the Lord. Yes. And they are they, 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 they're not 85 years old either. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. But we just thank God for each and every one to come out and visit with us today and enjoy the service. What a message, what a word, yeah. what a word. We just thank, thank God and we just praise Him yes. for, for everything. Yes. With that being said, let us be dismissed. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for this season. Father, we know that you are the reasons for the seasons in Jesus' name. Father God, I ask you to let your angels go with us throughout the rest of this day's journey. Lead us, God, protect us and prosper our way. This we ask in our son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.